Hi everyone, it's Bricks on Bricks here for another video, and today is the one year anniversary of when I did upload my first video onto the channel. That was exactly one year ago on April 10th of 2021. So now I am going to be making a one year anniversary video for the channel. However, it won't just be the one year anniversary of Bricks on Bricks video. I will kind of be talking about my journey on YouTube as a whole, because if you guys didn't know, I have had previous channels. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So about two years ago on April 22nd, 2020, I recorded my first video. I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I had watched lots of Lego YouTubers that did reviews and I wanted to do some of my own. So I made my first video called Introduction to Lego Teen Superstructor and I later uploaded it on April 25th of 2020. Um, and you know, it was kind of just a room tour video. My dad helped me edit the video because back then I did not know how to edit. And so then I started that channel and that channel kind of grew up to 25 subscribers. And at that point I was obsessed with numbers. I decided that I wanted to just keep getting more subscribers and I wanted to get to 50 subscribers, probably not the best idea, but I decided to do sub for sub in comment sections. And some people actually went through with it and they subbed to my channel and I subbed to theirs. However, one time I was going for a YouTuber that was slightly bigger than me, My Brick Opinions. Back then he had 64 subscribers. Now he's grown to 2.7K and you know, the guy is now making a second channel and he does lots of collabs. I mean, he's a pretty popular guy in the community nowadays. He doesn't have that as many subs as some other YouTubers, but you know, a lot of people know who he is. But back then he only had 64 subscribers and I think it was like a hidden side video because this was when, you know, hidden side hadn't really gotten any set leaks and it was almost all but confirmed that hidden side would be ending. And he was kind of talking about the pros and cons of hidden side in that video. And so I went to the comment section and I did these, you know, I said, sub me and I'll sub you, and he said, no. He said that, I don't know if you know this, but YouTube doesn't support sub for sub. It's pretty much an illegal YouTube method. Probably not the exact words he used, but from what I remember, he said something similar to that. And so after that, I realized that, yeah, I should probably stop doing sub for sub. I should just try to grow uh, at my own pace. So then, you know, I kept doing the LEGO reviews, but during this time, I saw other YouTubers, you know, lots of Ninjago YouTubers that were kind of growing and they just had kind of, you know, backgrounds, you know, they had like footage for their backgrounds from the show or just screenshots or just the posters from the show and they kind of just talked about their opinions on the show over it. You know, I just kind of watched a lots of those types of YouTubers and I wanted to make some of those videos on my own. So on Lego Teen Superstructor, I began to make some of those videos and they didn't do as well as I wanted them to but you know actually in the long run some of them actually did but you know I just didn't really care and eventually my channel was kind of just dying and I wasn't getting that many views on videos and you know I kind of said you know what I need a refresh I need to make a new channel so I talked to my brick opinions because at this point me and him were actually good friends after the whole ordeal that I told you about earlier. And he told me to just start a new channel. So I did, but the thing I did that was wrong was I made a final video on LEGO Teen Superstructor telling everyone that I was moving to Tsushimi Productions, which was the name of my new channel. My friend um, Action Mario Films, a Mario Plush Tuber, actually helped me come up with that name. And um, I moved to that channel. Let's just say I only made three videos talking about leaks for Ninjago Season 15 Seabound, or at the time we thought it was Season 15. Nowadays it's it's kind of, it's pretty much Season 14, but you know, if you call it Season 15, more power to you. I don't really care. I know a lot of people do, but you know, I don't really care. But getting back to the topic, I just made those videos and they got lots of dislikes. They got so many dislikes, like five to nine. I even got a death threat in the comment section, so I realized this channel probably shouldn't, I shouldn't stick with this channel either. I don't want to be getting dislikes and death threats on every video. Granted, I probably uploaded the wrong content because I just uploaded content about leaks, which 
is probably not the best idea. So then I talked to my Brick Opinions again, and he kind of said to start a new channel, but don't let, you know, the fan base from the old channel, you know, go to this new channel. So, yeah, I decided to make a third channel, and um, that was this channel, Bricks on Bricks. And ever since April 10th of 2021, I've kind of stuck with, you know, this Bricks on Bricks channel. And throughout the last few years, you know, ever since I started my LEGO Teen Superstructor channel, I have, you know, made lots of friends in the community. Not just my Brick Opinions, but Blueberry Comics or Darth Revan. He goes by lots of names. Um, you can, uh, I think I'll have a link to his Blueberry Comics channel in the description. I also have met, you know, the Ninja Legends, like Luke the Ninjroid, the Brick Lord, Nick the Brick, all those guys, and... You know, we all kind of chat in a group chat on Discord now. We're pretty good friends, and, you know, a lot of other people, you know, in the community I've kind of interacted with, and, you know, it's been pretty enjoyable to be a part of the community. But, as a whole, you know, this is kind of just the story of my channel, and how Bricks on Bricks kind of came to be. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and one more thing I'm going to say is that on Bricks on Bricks, throughout like the next few weeks, I'll probably upload some LEGO Teen Superstructor videos into a unlisted playlist. I'll also upload, I think, the uh, some other videos that I did kind of like as collabs with other people when I was in the LEGO Teen Superstructor persona. So yeah, I'll upload those videos as well. And um, yeah, well I'll just have LEGO Teen Superstructor videos in a unlisted playlist. So you guys can watch them. Unfortunately, I can't find my introduction to LEGO Teen Superstructor video at this time. But once I do find it, I will show it to you guys. And hopefully I will find it. I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm pretty sure I just saved it after I guess I deleted it from my from my LEGO Teen Superstructor channel. But yeah, so I will have those videos in an unlisted playlist sooner than later. But without further ado, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it wasn't the best quality, but I kind of just wanted to discuss kind of the history of my channel. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and stay tuned for future videos that I upload.